said he had a knack for refuse. He's the hungry ferret. Hey everybody. Today I have a reusable cup, and it's from Go Silly. Hopefully this doesn't get preachy. We live in a throwaway culture. Almost everybody's guilty of this. We throw away cups. The caps are rarely recycled, and the cups itself are now biodegradable or recyclable because of the wax lining. We've been filling our landfills and oceans with garbage, which could be avoided. One way to avoid this is to reuse cups. I purchased this item through Kickstarter. Hopefully this will help them reduce the garbage out there. This cup is made from platinum silicone, which is non-toxic and safer than plastic. There's markings inside the cup, which will help with measurements. This cup is also microwave, dishwasher, freezer, boiling water safe. There's probably technically no such thing as a perfect reusable cup. A lot of our companies have been selling reusable cups, but many of them have design flaws. They're made from glass, which is fragile and maybe even temperature sensitive. Uh, it's plastic, has chemicals in it, metal, it's not microwave safe, maybe it has trace elements in it. The cup has been molded very nicely, the edges are very clean, and the texture is very grippy. On the bottom it reminds you that the cup is microwave and dishwasher safe. The top looks like a coffee cup lid that you get from Starbucks. The mouth is wider though, like if you try to put a Starbucks stopper in it, it won't cover the hole entirely. Maybe in the future they'll come up with a stopper. The cup has a very nice form. There's some resistance in pulling off the lid, but it's not difficult to do. The cap has multiple ribs. I believe they're there to keep the cap on the cup. The 4 ounce and 12 ounce markings are very easy to see. Obviously the top of the cup is 16 ounces, so you don't have to worry about that. So let's take the sleeve off. I found the easiest way to take the sleeve off is just to try to slide it off. You could probably recycle that or reuse it as a sleeve. The cup is pretty light. It doesn't feel heavy. It's not like molded rubber. The cup has been molded very nicely. The edges are very clean. So let's see how rigid the cup is. The cup is fairly rigid and it holds the shape pretty well. It keeps its shape even when squeezing and pushing down on it. It's not like the other silicone items that you have, where you just push on it it loses shape. This is probably from the balance of thicker silicone walls and also the metal ring inside. After playing with the cup for a couple of minutes, I'm pretty confident of putting hot liquids in it. I mean the worst thing you could do is put hot liquids in a cup that can't hold its shape. All the tests before was with an empty cup. Now the cup has some cold water in it, and I'm going to see how well it keeps the liquid inside. Like any coffee cup with the spout on top, if you shake it or move it a lot, it's going to spill. The lid is on the cup pretty tight. I could lift it up by the lid and shake it, it won't come off. But at the same time, it's not that hard to remove. Obviously, if you push it to the side, liquid is going to spill. If you flip it upside down, liquid is going to spill. This actually surprised me. When you squeeze the cup hard, the cap stayed on. This is a big plus for me. From my previous experience of using silicone, it's a little porous, so it may retain some of the odor or maybe even the oils of the previous item you have in there. But I found the easiest way of removing that is using baking soda. I would recommend to make a paste and use it to rub on the cup a little bit, and then quick rinse should do it. When I got the cup in the beginning, it did have a little silicone taste or smell. I wanted to see the temperature of the inside and outside when you have hot liquids in a cup. I started with a cup at room temperature and I put boiling water in the cup all the way to the top. I only left a little gap on the top for the lid. As the label said, the outside does get hot and warm. This is after like 5 minutes. 
the inside of the cup is 193 degrees. The outside is about 150. Now for me, 150 is a little too hot, so I definitely need a sleeve in this. And about like 20 minutes later, it became like 160 on the outside. The cup also kept the liquid inside fairly hot. I put the cup in the microwave and it was perfectly fine. The inside of the cup was about 190 degrees. The outside did go up in temperature. Again, you definitely want to use a sleeve of some sort to protect your hand. For me, 160 is way too hot to touch. I took the cup to a local Starbucks and they didn't have a problem filling it. And our previous experiment shows when you put a hot liquid inside, the outside doesn't become hot right away. So you have some time to get to the sleeve. I like the Ghost Silly coffee cup. It's pretty convenient in the sense that you can microwave it, you can freeze it, you can boil it. It's pretty durable. I don't have to worry about being too heavy. Unfortunately, it's not going to make me go 100% without reusable cups, but it's definitely going to help me reduce it. I would recommend trying this cup out if you have problems with plastic, metal, or glass. This is another material that might be better for your lifestyle, depending on how you do things. When you get a chance, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you next time.